I feel like vulnerability is like a superpower I've realized lately. I don't know. I feel like for the longest time in my life, I would always be scared to like talk about things that like I'm self-conscious about or talk about, yeah, just talk about things I'm self-conscious about or things that make me feel unworthy or like less for some reason. And then I realized the more you talk about that stuff, it has like no power over you. It's kind of crazy. Like the more I talk about my acne scars, I feel like I don't care about them anymore. It's great. I used like I used to be so like I used to never talk about things that I was self-conscious about. Like my acne scars, I would hide my acne scars, never talk about them, pretend like they didn't exist. Um just anything that I was self-conscious about, I wouldn't talk about and then and then I realized like the more you talk about it, the like less power it has over you. And then I uh, like don't even care about my acne scars anymore at all. And also, I don't know. Because I think the thing with vulnerability, like, just being open about your flaws and who you are as a person, I think, like, I feel like the world is, like, a medieval battlefield, right? Like, everyone is wearing all this armor. They're all, it's like, it's like Dark Souls. Everyone's just in this armor and they're all fighting each other. And then when you're vulnerable, it's like you take off the armor and you're just in this battlefield alone with no armor. And I realized that there's like a few different types of people, right? Like you get some people that they will see you with no armor on. They're like, oh yeah, this is an easy target. I'm going to stab them. Um, and then those people, but I think they don't realize like those people that come up and they're like, oh, easy target. I think they don't realize like when you're not wearing all that armor, you're quite... You're quite nimble, like you're pretty fast. So you can just dodge. You can just keep dodging until they get bored and then they finally leave because they're like, okay, I can't I can't stab this person, so I'm just gonna keep going. And then there's like people that are just confused. People that are just like, okay, there's a person in this battlefield with no armor on, like, that's weird. And then they just continue on with their way. They're like, what the heck? Alright, I'm just maybe they're not in this battle. What's going on here? And they just continue on with their fight. And then you run into people that are like, this person has no armor on. I need to protect them. And then even though I like, I'm kind of like, well, you don't understand. I'm quite strong, actually. I'm pretty tough. Like, you might, I might not look like it, but I'm pretty tough. I can take care of myself. But I realize, I don't know. There's something about a person that cares enough about another person to want to protect them that I'm like, all right. All right. I like, I like this. It's nice. Get friends. Because then maybe eventually along the line there'll be something I can't... I can't do without friends. And then if I'm just like, nah, I'm tough. I don't need you guys. <laughs> then later on I'm just like, oh man, I really wish I had friends. <laughs> I wish I had... I wish I made friends with those people that were willing to help me. I think there's something about those people. Like those people who see other people without armor. The like anti-bully people, the protectors. Like, I think there's something so, like, commendable about that, you know? Those people that are just, like... And, like, I think, like, if someone saw me on the battlefield with no armor on, and then you just have these knights in armor killing each other, like, I feel like those type of people, they would help anyone without armor on. Like, not just me because I'm a girl. Like, if they saw a guy with no armor on in the middle of the battlefield, they'd be like, oh my gosh, this guy doesn't have armor on. Like, I should help them. Like, they're just commendable people. Brave. It's probably like the most masculine men ever. The ones that are just like, I'm gonna help this person. Someone told me the other day, uh, my friend. My friend told me about this thing called the bear question. And I was like, what the heck is the bear question? And apparently, there's this popular question where people ask women, like, would you, if you were alone, would you rather be with a bear or a man? And the girls say they'd rather be with a bear because it's less scary. And like, from my experience, I've never been scared of men. I've never been scared of men. Like I've walked across downtown LA at 1 a.m. And like, there were lots of men out there. They would always, like some of them would say hi to me. Some of them like, they were fine. Like I was never like, scared to death for my life 
that any man would hurt me. But like maybe I'm I'm really just lucky in life, I think maybe. Because I I feel so sad for women that that are like definitely a bear. Cause you're like, I just wanna hug them. I just wanna hug those girls. Cause I'm like, man, what happened to you? I wanna give you a hug. What the heck? I've never once in my life been scared that any man or person would ever hurt me. That's really sad. I think there are women that just genuinely are scared. And like, that's sad. That's really sad. I just want to give them a hug. Never been that scared of men? Well, let's take care of that right now. What are you going to do? Give me cake until I throw up? <laughs> I'm just throwing up from eating too much cake. What are you going to feed me cheese until I throw up? You're going to be like, try this cheese. And I'll be like, oh, that's a good cheese. And you're going to be like, oh, wait, but this cheese is better. I'm like, oh, man, this is a really good cheese, too. And you're like, okay, now eat this cheese and this cheese and this cheese. And then, and then by the time... By the time I leave, I'm gonna, like, probably die from too much cheese. I always treat people how I'd want to be treated, and it's worked out pretty well for me so far. But I'm not... I'm not sure if that would work for everyone. But it's worked for me. I've even, like... I remember me and my sister were in Chicago, and we were, like, in... People kept telling us it was, like, a dangerous neighborhood in Chicago. Maybe it was a dangerous neighborhood in Chicago, but... Me and my sister were just walking down this dangerous neighborhood in Chicago and everyone was super nice. They were like, if they did talk to us, they'd be like, how's your day? And I'd be like, oh, my day's great. Thank you for asking. I hope you have a good day. Bye. <laughs> and, like, and then like maybe someone else would just be like, I like your outfit. And I'd be like, thank you so much. I don't know if I have energy to have an enemy. My ex-boyfriend that I had before I moved to Korea... I didn't really realize, because it was like one of my first, he's one of my first boyfriends, I didn't really realize, I didn't realize that, like, he was really rude, like, he would yell at me in front of my friends, I remember one time I was sleeping, and he, like, woke me up and yelled at me to make him a smoothie, and I just kind of thought that was, like, sort of normal, yeah, he is, really, after the fact I think about him, like, wow, I'm, why didn't I stick up for myself, like, I don't think I had the self- I don't think I had, like, the self-confidence. He would always call me, like, a dirty street rat because he was, he was actually really well off. Like, his mom was really rich and I don't have any money. So his mom, like, bought him a house and stuff and I was, like, living at his house. And he would, like, call me, like, a street rat, a poor street rat. And then he would, like, like, shame me for being poor and not having money and stuff like that. One time, yeah, like one time I was playing Magic Gathering, but gathering with my friends and he like was in a grumpy mood and just like screamed at me and I was like What did I do wrong? Yeah, I didn't realize that he was a bad boyfriend. Now I know. Now I'm like, now I'm like, that's not a boy that I like. <laughs> one day, I think it was my grandpa passed away and he pretty much told me to like suck it up because his grandparents died like 10 years ago and to like deal with it and stuff. And like after he said that to me, because I was dealing with my grandpa dying, you know, <laughs> so I was like full of, full of a lot of feelings at the time. So after he said that to me, I kind of just the next day I woke up and I just started packing all my clothes. I just packed everything. And the whole time I was packing my clothes, he's just sitting there like yelling at me, calling me like names and like saying like I'm ugly and I'll never find anyone. Like just really mean stuff, honestly. It was some shenanigans, but I just packed up all my stuff and just never really talked to him again. <laughs> Actually, that's not true because I think it was like a few weeks after we broke up. Um, I would like on my way from work, I would pick him up food and just drop him off food. I didn't really talk to him, but I knew he probably wouldn't eat if I didn't feed him. So like for a few weeks, I would just like off when I got off work, I would buy food, like fast food and like give it to him, and then just leave. <laughs> just like, here's food, don't die, bye. <laughs> he did kind of treat me like I was lower than him. And I was like, huh. It's like that Smith song, you know? That Smith song that is like, I am human and I need to be loved just like everybody else does. You know? Mood. Yeah, I, yeah like I said, I didn't realize it was a bad relationship at the time. But now I know. Mostly, I'm like, I kept wondering too, because my friend, I lost a lot of friends because of him. Because he would like yell at me in front of my friends and stuff. And so 
my friends would genuinely, my friends, like my close friends would say like, I'm not going to your house. They would like tell me like I need to break up with them. They would tell me like that I could move in with them. They would say like, I will hang out with you, but if he comes around, I'm gone. Like, I do have so many friends because then, of course, I would pick my boyfriend over my friends and then my friends would be like, they would understand, but then they would just kind of be like, they just kind of be like, okay, well, I'm not hanging out with you if he's around. Because <laughs> they didn't know how to deal with it when I was being yelled at, I realized. And they told me afterwards, they were like, what do I do when he's yelling at you? You'll get mad at me <laughs> if I yell at him.